Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Harry here, and I'm here because in a couple of days' time, I've actually been running the channel uh, for a whole year. Um, it's interesting reflecting back. A lot has changed over the course of the last year. Um, a lot's going to be changing coming up, hopefully, um, for the better as well. So. This video is basically to say thank you to everybody that supported us. I'm going to run through quite a lot of names uh, shortly. I'm going to talk about where the channel's going to be going um, in the future as well. I've got so much to talk about, in fact, I've actually had to make a list on my laptop in front of us. So, um, it's interesting because I look back at the first ever video I put up um, as a little bit of an introduction to the channel and why I got into 40k and so forth. And that was... 18 months ago I got back back into 40k like I said in that video I used to play it when I was uh, a teenager about 15 year ago so had quite a big break from the hobby and came back into it just after 7th edition came out um, so yeah it's definitely been interesting I've done a lot of collecting I've done a lot of painting uh, I've spent as much time probably sat at this desk as where I have at my desk at work um, so yeah um, and I'll get to the point now where I run, what is it, nine, ten armies, depending on whether you count Space Marines and Pump Mechanic and Skatari separately, the, the, there's like ten armies in there um, that I'm getting built and most of which are painted now. Um, it, looking back at my first battle report, I mean so much has changed since then. You know, the, the way I tell the battle report, the scenery, I used to play on painted models, I don't play that anymore. Um, all models are going to be built and painted and so forth. So yeah, lots changed. Um, I started with two armies when I started the channel. I had Dark Eldar and Blood Angels. And then I expanded to uh, Forge World Mechanicum, Eldar, Harlequins, Tyranids, Necrons, Skatari, Cult Mech, um, and Knights. So yeah, a lot has gone on. and I, I, I dread to think how much money I've spent. I really, really do. So yeah, um, my skills have definitely changed a lot. Like I said, the, the, the way that I film battle reports, um, the, the way that I tell what's going on, simply how I, how I do up the table uh, has changed a lot as well. So um, thank you to everybody that, that, that's obviously been part of it, that's gave us feedback over the last year. Um, I do want to give a massive shout out to everybody from all the local clubs who I've started visiting. Um, that was about four months into the channel. I started visiting other clubs rather than just going to Games of War, which is my home club. Um, I've been uh, quite a lot to Durham Raiders, Dalton Dogs of War, Carrick War Games. Um, I, I've met friends for life um, by going to the clubs. I, I couldn't even start to list them. Ian Briggs, Conrad, uh, Sean Murtar, uh, Andrew Newton, Phil Sanderson, Graham Mills. There's loads and loads of people that I've met through traveling that I would never have met if I'd never gotten back into 40k. Um, so for that I'm really grateful and, and for everybody that's played against us and supported us, gave advice and everything, seriously big thank you to all of the lads um, from those clubs. I will post a link to each of the clubs in the description if you live in the North East or North Yorkshire. I seriously suggest you go and check them out. In my opinion some of the top as best as blokes you, you'll meet any war games that you're interested in card games miniature games check them out you can guarantee that there's somebody that plays a game that you play um at one of the clubs so like i said yeah massive thank you to everybody there it's been a massive confidence boost uh, going to all the clubs painting up the miniatures getting the feedback and the comments that i've been getting and as a result you maybe see on the facebook page i've started running my own tournaments now um, and I'm quite involved with the North, North East tournament circuit now. Uh, all the events that I run are part of that. Um, and what we do is basically there's like a, a league. So the number of wins that you get at each event, um, they take your highest three events. Um, so it gives you an overall leaderboard as to how you've done throughout the year. Um, and there's a, we kind of do like a, an FAQ pack as well, similar to what ITC do. Um, but obviously it's for the North East tournament circuit. Um, if you are interested in coming to any of the events that me or any of the other clubs host, because the other clubs are involved with it as well, um, like I said, please go and check them out um, and keep an eye on my Facebook page as well. Uh, other things have obviously developed. Um, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Brian from War Games in Middlesbrough. He's been fantastic with helping us develop the channel. 
he's a sound bloke, offers advice all the time. Um, I've hosted two tournaments there, so maybe three, I'm not sure. Um, Brian's a top bloke, he's really interested um, in the historical war games, he started casting his own tanks. I will be doing a product review and an interview with Brian uh, about that in the very near future. Um, but Brian's phenomenal, he can get almost any stock that you want uh, for quite a reasonable discount as well. Please check out uh, the War Games uh, Facebook page as well as the website. Um, if you're interested in getting hold of anything, give Brian and Haley a shout. Top top people couldn't ask for for, for uh, you know a, a better person really to to get hold of anything you want. Any advice you need, you can guarantee you know somebody that knows somebody to get you something. So uh, massive shout out to Brian for that. Um, I'd also like to give a massive shout out to Martin Benjamin from Urban Mats. Um, without his support um, getting hold of those uh, Urban Mats, the battle reports wouldn't even look half as nice as what they do. Um, Martin supported us, you know, there's links to my uh, Facebook page and the YouTube channel on his website. He shares the battle reports, he comments on them and everything. It, you know, really helps me get noticed and I'm proud to be able to say that I've helped him get noticed. Um, Darren Raiders and Darlington Dogs of War have both ordered gaming mats from Martin and when I say ordered gaming mats you know about six each I think they ordered um, so you know w without Martin I, I really couldn't have developed the battle reports the way that I have done so a really big thank you to Martin uh, for helping out with that uh, there's several other YouTube channels I want to give shout outs to as well because again without their advice support and comments the channel couldn't be what it is today. Um, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Jamie Winters SEO. Um, I stumbled across his channel in about January last year um, and I saw the 30k Mechanicum then and I just instantly gripped by them. Uh, I've had quite a lot of Facebook messages exchanged with Jamie. He's offered us a lot of advice for not only the channel but also the Mechanicum as well. Um, I've, I've given him a couple of shout outs you know, when I've done the overview for the Mechanicum uh, and you know, we've discussed things with him. So, Jamie, Really big thank you. Keep up the awesome work. You're by far one of the best top top three channels on YouTube for 40k battle reports. If you haven't subscribed to them, go and check them out. Phenomenal. Um, Lawrence from Tabletop Tactics. Um, obviously the beard as well. Joe, great battle reports. What can I say? Top class banter. Great battle reports. Phenomenal armies and tables. I'm hoping to go down and meet Lawrence and hopefully get a game in with him um, in the near future as well. So please go and check out Tabletop Tactics. Uh, if you want competitive lists, they do do competitive lists as well. So, like I said, go and check them out. Phenomenal battle reports. And again, one of the top battle report uh, YouTube sites out there. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Mark and Ian from Xenovids. Um, I really, really enjoy the content that they put out. The banter between the two of them is phenomenal. Um, I actually won the Skatari Codex from Mark and Ian, and that's what got me into the Skatari uh, and Cult Mech. So a massive thank you to them um, for, for essentially giving me the opportunity to learn another army, uh, in particular one that's not used that much. Um, so really big thank you to them. Keep up the great work, guys. And yeah, again, one of the top channels out there on YouTube. <clears throat> uh, Scarcast, um, Scary, he really, really got me into... Um, the Dark Eldar kind of alliance with Eldar um, and Covens kind of thing. Um, and you've seen me run Dark Eldar with Eldar allies quite a lot now. Um, if I'm not running pure Dark Eldar, you know, there's too much opportunity to pass up. And he's offered so much advice in regards to using Dark Eldar. His um, Dark Eldar Tactica um, videos where he went through each unit in the Codex, phenomenal. If you're a Dark Eldar player, if you're struggling or indeed you just want to refresh your skills, go and check out that. It's fantastic to listen to. He's very well spoken, very, very clear and precise um, with what he explains uh, around the tactics. Listen to it while you paint. It, it sinks in and it's great advice. Skari, keep up the great work, mate. Really, really love the breakdown of the battle reports. Um, and everything that you do. So again, thank you to Scary for that as well. Uh, quite recently, I'd like to thank a couple of um, other channels as well. 
it's not something that I kind of gone into and I started straying away from it. I started putting out a lot of battle reports and it was kind of quite, I don't want to say cold, but I felt like I wasn't really that in, involved with people um, other than my opponent when I was gaming. Um, and I stumbled across uh, Nick, Beer, Nick Beer's channel. And from that, I've ended up speaking and following quite a few of the YouTube channels as well. Nick puts a lot of banter out there. It's great to see him so involved with the community, helping other gamers and YouTubers out. Um, and the inspiration that he's given us to, to follow the Nick's New Year Painting Challenge and really get a move on with me unpainted models. I mean, the last four weeks, I've painted so many models. Um, yeah, I've still got the drive for it. I've had a little bit of a break this week because I felt a bit worn out, but you know the, the drive that I've gotten from that, the inspiration that everybody else that's following Nick's New Year Painting Challenge uh, is doing, it, it's great to be part of a community. Um, Big Mac Dan Skull, really love his Harlequin Void Weaver that he started putting together. Uh, he's got some great banter as well. Please go and check him out. Uh, Darby Conway, I did subscribe to him previously. Um, before I stumbled across Nick's channel. Um, but he's been following Harlequins as well. And he's been giving updates in relation to that. So again go and check Darby's channel out. He plays X-Wing as well if that's your thing. It, it, it's so nice to be kind of involved in that. And comment on each other's videos. And, and you know follow how people's progress, people are progressing with um, their projects and everything. So for everyone that's involved in Nick's New Year Painting Challenge. Please keep up the good work. It's great to see people really striving with the, those miniatures um, and, and getting the painted you know with step by steps as well it's fantastic um, I'd like to thank all the lads from the local uh, gaming shop games of war uh, Sean Liam Phil Graham Stu you know there's there's quite a few of us um, the, the banter and rules debates that we have sometimes does get heated as it does um, it probably does, you know, any conversation that you have can turn heated in relation to rules. People interpret things different ways. Um, it's great. Without them, I wouldn't get back in, into 40k as much as what I have. Um, so, lads, thank you so much, you know, for everything that you've done, supported us. Um, it's fantastic. Sean, in particular, um, came down to Warhammer World with me and we played off against Geeks 40k. We played off against Rich and Rob. Geeks 40k again is another one of those top channels out there for battle reports, so please go and check them out. Uh, Sean represented the Dark Artisan uh, on their channel, and I played off against Rich. Um, two great, great games, uh, and it was a great day out. So, you know, thanks to Geeks 40k, Rich and Rob. Thank you, Sean. I'd like to also give a personal thank you to Josh. Josh, you put up with so much of my shit. I don't know how you haven't throttled me yet, mate. But the endless hours that you spend on Skype talking to us, and uh, you know, going over list analysis, list building, painting, you know, it, simply being there whilst I paint and go out of my mind with the sheer amount of models that I paint through. Um, thank you. Nobody else would have put up with us the way that you did. So thank you very, very much indeed for all of your support, Josh. It's really, really appreciated. Um, finally, the comments on the videos, um, especially the most recent Apocalypse Battle Report I did, I'm getting so many more great compliments. It, it's such an honour to have things said like that about something that I don't necessarily feel at the time is great. But then when I look back at it or see people's comments, it really makes me feel proud um, that people enjoy me work so much. So... I couldn't possibly name everybody that's commented, but there's so many people that comment, all the t regular commenters, and, and people that, you know, <laughs> wow, I, I, I genuinely can't even explain it. So for everybody that supported um, the channel and leaves comments, thank you very, very much. Your comments are appreciated, and I do try and get back to as many of them as I possibly can. So I think that's about all the thank yous. Um, I did say it was going to be long. Uh, but what's next for the channel? Well, I want the steam to keep building. I still want the train to keep rolling. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. So 
over the last couple of weeks, especially since I started doing Nick's New Year Painting Challenge, um, I've been putting vlogs up of what I'm getting painted each week on a Monday, sometimes a Sunday night, depending on how I feel. That's going to continue. Um, any work, modelling or building or anything that I do week to week will still be logged every Monday where possible. It's something I've enjoyed doing because it keeps track of my progress. I know what I've managed to get done and it allows me to not feel as overwhelmed by the unpainted models that I've got. Um, so yeah, that is going to continue. So I hope you enjoy those. Um, painting tutorials, they are going to continue as well. I've done one for the Castellacs, the Necrons and the Tyranids whilst I've been doing uh, Nick's New Year Painting Challenge. So I expect things like that to keep up. I don't say that I'm the best painter. I'm really not the best painter. I paint to a good tabletop standard, I feel, um, with minimal effort. Um, yeah, so basically, I, I don't want to spend you know, 15, 20 hours painting a single five-man squad. It detracts from the fun of it, especially for me. Painting is a very, very big part of the hobby, but so is the gaming. Um, so to find that balance where I can paint enough to still change up what I'm playing in game is important to me. So that's why I kind of don't go over the top with them with you know insane detail um, with my painting skills. So I do hope that you find the the painting tutorials helpful to get a decent standard of painting done with minimal effort and time. Uh, those are going to continue, like I said, I, you know, anything I get painted, I'll try and uh, throw a tutorial um, on there as well. Um, I'm hoping to start doing list analysis videos, you may be seeing the post on the Facebook page. Um, I'm going to be doing that with Josh, hopefully, um, when Josh is, is available. Me and Josh, like I said, we, we spend a lot of time list building and everything and talking, you know, about rules and, and you know, building... Uh, of an army quite a lot me and josh have very different opinions um over what we prefer uh, on the table even if you look at space marines i tried to play space marines once and i couldn't blood angels all the way the fast they're in your face and that is my play style josh likes marines with las cannons and plasma guns i would never do that heavy flame and melt the gun for me all the way so even as far down as Necrons, he takes Lich Guard with Sword and Shield. I prefer War Scythe. It's just, they're our player styles. So I think if anyone is good to do the list analysis with, it's Josh, simply because we are so different in the way that we build uh, our lists. Josh is also a bit of a rule nut. He's re read pretty much any codex or the rules for any models that are out there. Um, if he doesn't have them, he will find them. Um, so yeah, he knows his stuff, he, he may not remember it all instantly, but you know, his knowledge is, is fantastic, so that's why Josh is going to be on board doing the list analysis. Um, codex reviews is something I've considered, I don't feel I'm particularly suited for codex reviews, I might give it a go, see what the video turns out like, I don't know. I don't know, it's not really my cup of tea. Same with tactic videos again. My tactic videos will be how I play as opposed to an overall tactic video. If you want to see tactic videos about the way that I play the armies that I've got, drop me an inbox on um, the Facebook page. I'm more than happy to discuss things, but if you would like a video, I'll certainly give it a go. Um, I've also considered doing Space Hulk battle reports. Um, just to change things up a little bit. I have got a few of the Terminators painted, but not all of them. Um, and me and Phil are hopefully going to be starting to play some practice games over the next few weeks whilst I get the models painted up. Um, and hopefully we can find a format that works. I've got a tripod for the camera. Um, so hopefully we can find a format that works quite well um, to be able to film the game uh, with the timer. Um, with whoever's playing Tyranids can, you know, can show the blip counters um to the camera as well um maybe it's kind of almost a tip um like a down shot uh on the table as we play so that's what's coming up um i learned a lot from the apocalypse game that i did with ali um that you've seen between the dark eldar and the guard 
First of all, if you're going to do an apocalypse game, do it over two or three days. Don't do, try and do it all in one day and only get three turns in. I think what well, if we would do that again and go back, we'd probably set it up on a Friday night. Game throughout the Saturday. Leave it set up over Saturday night. Finish it and pack down on the Sunday. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, it was the biggest game that I've done on the channel. I've done quite a few sort of four and a half thousand point games. Which you can just about manage to get in in the course of a day. Um, but seven and a half was a task. Especially with the amount of guard that Ali has. Um, so yeah, I, I did learn a lot from that. I, I really focused on the cinematics of that. I didn't do um, an army overview video and incorporate it into the battle. I kept that separate because of how big it was. And I actually preferred it. So what I'm thinking of doing... Uh, please let me know your thoughts on this. Is set the army straight up on the table from for deployment. Run through them incredibly briefly before the first turn, but post the list breakdowns in the description rather than going over the entire army. That's what I'm thinking. It kind of keeps the flow of the battle going. I can keep the cinematics in there as well. Um, rather than showing an empty table, then cutting away to the, to the army overview and then cutting back to deployment. It's fine, it works, but I feel it would be a bit better and a little bit more kind of keep the pace going by doing it that way. So that's what I'm planning to do with that, but really focusing on the cinematics as well. Because to be honest, I really enjoy doing them. Um, and... and some of the shots I got between the game with mine and Ali, especially when I panned up behind the Wraith Knight and looked into the distance and saw the Imperial Knight smouldering, like, that shot was... Wow. <laughs> so, that is the direction the battle reports are hopefully going to be going. Please let me know what you think. Um, let me know what, what you want to see on the channel. One thing I won't be putting in battle reports, though, is dice rolls. I'll keep key dice rolls between key combats and stuff in there. Um, I just feel that the amount of time it takes to film the dice rolls to then edit them, for me, it's not worth the extra time that's going to go into it and it detracts from the battle report. People don't always want to see dice being rolled. Yes, it is handy, but I want to focus on the cinematic side of it rather than the dice rolls. So only key dice rolls will be kept. Um, point roll, seize the initiative, things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's been 23 minutes. So, thank you very much, everybody, who has supported the channel over the last year. Hopefully, we'll progress and keep moving uh, ahead the way that we have been. And hopefully, there's only improvements from here. So, thank you very much again for everything that everybody has commented and everybody's support. I, I can't say thank you enough. If you want to see anything, um, you have any comments, compliments, criticism, I I'm happy to take feedback. Please drop me a message via the Facebook page. Please check out the Facebook page if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thank you very much everybody. Please like and subscribe to the channel and the Facebook page as well. But until next time, we'll see you in the next video.